So let's begin our class. So we will actually presume that you are in class, so we will avoid all these interactions and so on. So, as you can see today, we have a very young topic in our particular minds. So if you would turn off your phone, that would be great. Okay, it's still a class. So, but before, I would like to ask you a particular question, each and every one of you. Uh, what's your favorite comfort food? Yes, what's your favorite comfort food or fast food? All right. I don't like. So okay, so we have two for I hate fast food and two for pizza. Nice. How about you? What's your? Also, sometimes pizza. So okay, sometimes pizza. We have two and a half for pizzas. Mm -hmm. And how about what's your favorite fast food? Pizzas. Okay, three for pizzas. Oh, three and a half. Sorry. How about you? So do I. So do I. So you like pizzas? Four and a half. How about you? Five and a half, okay. Burgers, chicken burgers. Okay, how about you? Okay, so this is basically four for burgers and three and a half, so six and a half for pizzas. And you? I don't like pizza. Okay, so that's third. No, third for third vote for I hate fast food. So why do I ask this thing? And here comes the key question. So pizza guys. What do you do when you want to have pizza? So what, what do you do? So that's the question. What do you do when you want to eat pizza? Uh, I try to discern my <laughs> What? And I try, um, sorry. Yeah. Not to think, not to, yes, not to think about that. All right, but let us say you have thought, so. Guys, when you want to eat pizza, what do you do? I order. All right, you order. So what else can you do if you want to eat pizza? I order or sometimes I cook. Nice, so you cook. Nice, nice. And what else can you do with pizzas? Yeah? I ask my sister uh, to cook. That's it. So again, my sister. She's very nice. Really? Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So as you all have mentioned, there are a number of ways that we can reach pizza if we want. Children hate basically. Yes. <laughs> and hence, basically, ingredient which is preferred by Americans is a kind of meat that we are not supposed to eat, it's bacon. Yes. yes it's bacon. Mm -hmm. so don't tell anyone that we have. <laughs> Alright. So now we will do a little yeah, a little exercise which is very fun and we will you will do it in teams. So here we have essentially a list of the top ten favorite topics, a popularity diagram, and here we have the pictures of these wow. vegetables. So what you have to do is, you will just cut out these fellas and you will put them in order. Okay? So you will basically put them in order. which is tough, so therefore prepare your scissors and your salt papers. So, we said that we have topping, right? So the space of pizza beneath the topping is called crust. So we have topping and here we have crust. So this is crust of pizza. So has anyone left their pizzas as well? Can I, can I take it please? Yes. Thank you very much. So all this bit is called crust. So and this is also crust. And this is also crust. And sometimes they fill the crust with cheese, I don't know. So, I will give you an important, important information. Sauce and gravy. So, what's your favorite sauce? Cheese. Cheese, all right, what's your favorite sauce? Cheese. Cheese as well, your favorite sauce. Your favorite sauce? You don't, cheese? Your favorite sauce? Cheese. Chicken. Sauce. Chicken sauce, yeah, we are talking about sauce, remember. It's not, chicken is by the way, not sauce. I will tell you why. How about you? No, she said ketchup. 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 I'm sorry. Ketchup as well. Very nice. How about you? What's your favorite sauce? Um, I think um, ketchup. Ketchup, all right. How about you? What's your favorite sauce? Ketchup, all right. You? Of course, cheese. Cheese. And you? Your favorite sauce? Barbecue. Barbecue, Barbecue. sauce, all right. Actually, they are not the same thing, but purpose wise, they are the same. 
we put sauce yes. on the meal and we can put gravy on the meal as well. But the difference is gravy is meat based and um. sauce is vegetable based. So that's the most important information that you will ever use. And what about dressing? Dressing is the same. It's, it's, it's a bit different. It is, yeah. Dressing is close to sauce because yeah. most of the dressings are vegetable based. Vegetable based. But gravy is essentially something. Uh -huh. And by the way, sauce is something. And uh, sorry, dressing is something that we mostly use with salads. So, yeah. yes. the next one is, here comes sure. So, that's it, here comes sure. Next one is, not quite sure, I do not have tendency towards pineapple. So, is it the same with everyone? Yes. 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 All right. I think you have So it, yes. we have also village well, don't eat pizza. Yeah, also, so it's the same yes. as well, right? Yes. Yes. How about you? So is it the same? Is the order the same? Yes. All right, very nice. So you are to be in luck, basically to be in luck. It means to be lucky. Yes. That's it, to be in luck. And so it's hard to turn it off or that put down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it the yes. same with everyone? No. All right. Yeah. Is that all? Yeah, I think so. When should I expect the delivery? Is it the same? So when should I expect? All right. Yeah. So it's. It's a huge place, so they will deliver the pizza sometime next month or next week. So that will be just fine, thank you. So is it who got the same throughout the whole thing? So context is the main thing. Expect the logic, so what can come, which yeah. sentence must be come, and which sentence must come, and which sentence can be an answer. So, all right. So, please now we are back to GPS. But they have well done. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they have uh, all the best for all the time. So, first thing basically, yeah. So, please. About uh, get GPS. Now, uh, back to the satellite. As we said, there are 24 currently main satellites. But, as I said before, the three must be in your horizon place where you are. Uh, so, uh, to determine the position of our flat pizza delivery fellow must pray that at least three satellites you know when you ordered your pizza yeah. I was under the horizon of three these satellites I am, I am scared of those <laughs> I'm not joking, I am scared yes. number three creates trilateration mm -hmm. phenomenon okay you will talk about uh, it of course I will. so however luckily for pizza delivery guy our flat cannot be in the close vicinity yeah. vicinity so please move so it's reasonable to believe that our flat is somewhere on the surface of planet earth so yes so yeah. that's the thing first let us have a really quick look into trilateration phenomenon. So trilateration phenomenon is, it will be quick, it's not physics class, that's why. So trilateration phenomenon is, this is our horizon, and these are basically our three satellites, right? So one can stay. Mm -hmm. So can our flag be in the space? Can, can our flag float? No. no, right? So therefore, you decided that this is somewhere on the planet oh, Earth. Green. So that's basically trilateration. Now, it, got, it gets us to a particular point in our class where we will learn Latin and Greek. So this is how fancy we are. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, that, that was it. Yeah, that was it. So, as you can see,
see, the word trilateration means three essentially means in Russian as well and in Latin as well, in Greek, it means three. So, and lateration, as you can see from here, lateration means essentially calculation of distance. And trilateration means triple calculation of a distance. Right? So, what is a bilingual person? Who is a bilingual person? No. We, have, we are also. Exactly. So, what is bi in Latin? So two. then, exactly. Two. So bi means two. Very nice. I'm also part of bilingual. I never, I never said that you were not a bilingual person. We all are bilingual. We, are, we, are we all are. So we speak English at least. I thought that we are. So. We, we all are. So, what is a multinational tournament? What is multinational? A lot of times. A lot of times. Exactly. So multi, what does it mean? Multi. Multi chapter. Many. Yes. So that's it. So multi we have, it means many. So what is, what do you think is university? Can you define university for me? You. Can you define university? What's university? University is a building uh -huh. that the students study. So what do they study? Uh, to learn something. Yes. So essentially university is a place where you can learn everything in one building, right? So what's uni? No, no, it's one, exactly. It means one. And universe, essentially, verte is Latin for becoming one, and verse is past form of verte. So that's how universe means becoming into one. So that's, again, Latin word for you. And if you remember, like you probably will remember, all times we have mono, kind of tapes and stereotapes. So yes. what is mono and what's stereo? Mono, like mono. Mono one. Yes, mono means one. Exactly, mono means one. And stereo means like both of them work. And do you follow football, any of you? Sometimes. Sometimes. What's semi-final? What? Semi-finals. Yes. So what's semi then? Semi is half. 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 Exactly, yes. Semi means half. So you see, now you know English and somehow Greek and Latin as well. So very nice indeed. And by the way, how many legs do an octopus have? Does an octopus eight. have? Eight. So what octo means in Greek? That's it. So you see, you're welcome. Please. I receive that time and compares that to its own time and that calculate the distance using the same time, time delay. Wow. So, okay. so uh, imagine that within a minute of running satellite, yes. which miscalculates your location eight meters after an hour, it may be 400 eight to one meter. And after a day, the margin is to 11.5 kilometers. So that means that satellites actually sent us Delayed information and they may make mistakes if we wait for too long for Uber. Imagine you have ordered Uber, you are here, but Uber goes to NASA bus at the door. So that can, what, get, that can happen actually. So they are delayed. Okay, but what if I told you? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait. That's, that's the most important part. Uh, yeah. Last, please, yeah. please, please, please. And by the way, that part is so do you know a certain fellow called Albert Einstein? So you know him, right? Einstein. He has theory of relativity. Yes. Yes. So theory of relativity is essentially the faster you go, the slower your clock is. So in the space, our clocks go way faster. So that's why our local clocks in on the Earth, they cannot make the same time matching. So therefore, our clocks are basically delayed. So that's basically it. So now, no English class is complete without grammar. So that's the grammar bit. Okay. Now, we will make a little tiny revision and we will have an introduction to some perfect tense. So the case is, who can tell me based on this particular sentence, when do we use present simple? Let, just let me write sentence first. So I will ashamed myself and write this following sentence. So, when do we use 
present simple, and this is, by the way, present simple, and this is, by the way, me, and this sentence is 100% true. I'm not joking. <laughs> yeah. They will fire me because of this. this. They will fire me because of this. So, until that day, let's discuss. So, basically, when do we use present simple? We have that giveaway here. When do we use it? When you speak about objects or actions. Exactly. Nice. So, when we are talking about routines, we are using present simple. And one thing to remember also, it doesn't matter whether we do the action, human beings do the action, or nature does it. Sun rises from the east, it's repeated action, so God or whatever does it, it happens, so it's present simple. Very nice. Alright, so let us go into so let's go into present continuous. So as the name is very suggestive. Let me just write the first bit here. So, surprised but you are also right we are talking about temporary actions which is this is our timeline right this is past this is present and this is all future. so if we start an action in some time in the past and we expect it to be over sometime in the future right so we use present continuous at that time. For instance, and very no, no, it's not to be going to, it's different. It's very different. But we have actually a moment where we will discuss to be going to and present continuous. However, to be going to implies mainly planned actions, right? There is a moment where we will delve into that as well in this version. Yeah. Uh, no. Yes, however, it's a different purpose. It's a different purpose. How? Huh? That's it. So temporary actions. If we speech. use the, the uh, we are next, we are We can use it nowadays. I'm reading a book by Pfizer nowadays. It is a pact. Only that we use it in simple tenses. If we say the next, but if we uh, say I am reading a yes. book, it is a duration, it's a continuum. Yes, however, it's temporary. Yes. If it's temporary, however, yes. if it was in the regular tense, it means that from your birth to your death, you are waking up, you are opening a book by Dreiser, and you are reading it. So it means that it's repeated throughout your whole life. It seems a bit irregular, right, to read the same book. So therefore, therefore it's Temporary. For we temporary, use we can present use progress. another sentence. Maybe uh, I wear a skirt every day. But yes. Today I am wearing. Yes. To exactly. Today I'm wearing. So that's it. It's that temporary. It's around now. I think it's mm -hmm. not temporary. It's, it's temporary. Yes. You are wearing it today, yes. right? Yes. So today it will be yes. over. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Logic based. Okay. It's the same thing okay. because today has an end. Yeah. Whatever has an end is temporary, yeah, lots right? Of yeah. So our life is essentially we temporary. Do it every day. Yes. If we do it every day, then it's present simple. It's yes. straightforward. It's present simple. Third thing is about plans. We can use present continuous about our plans as well. So, may I ask you 
arrangement. He has all, also oh. not only plan but arrangement also. Exactly. So technically, the difference is between to be going to and yes, we very have nice. this one. But yes. yes, if we have arrangement, yes. we use present continuous. Yes. To be going to or we, we, we plan intention yes. but yes. no The case is to put it in simpler terms. Can I marry on my own? Can I marry myself? No. So it's present progressive, yeah. present continuous. So therefore, if I so if I'm talking about plans, let us say, let's put it in general terms. If I'm talking about plans that are up to me, yes. I decided, and I don't care about anyone, and I'm, I won't depend on anyone. I used to be going to. Yes. If I'm talking about a plan that I have to consult with someone. In other words, arrange with someone. I'm using yes. present progress or present continuous. And if I'm talking about plans that I made right at the moment, I'm using will. Very nice. That is the thing. So that's the thing we have to remember about these three fellas who are dealing with essentially future. It's the thing that we are doing now, the thing that are temporary. Thinking of our plans that yes. don't depend on us, yes. right? So that's the thing. And now we will give brief introduction to present perfect, and we will have more details in our next class. Mainly, when we use present perfect, any ideas? In the past and is true still true. Yes, but we can just literally say result. Yes. That is yes. still true. Or we have to see. Yes, That's it. And that is essentially it. Mostly students confuse. Oh my God, it's present perfect. I don't know what to do. I don't know. If you have a result, if it's still true to this day, it's present perfect. A simple example that I love. I am still grabbing it, right? This thing hasn't changed. So this thing hasn't changed. This is my reality. So it's 2019, I'm still graduating, and in 2014, I'm still graduating, and in 2017, I will probably die, but still, this is not the topic of our discussion. So the case is, result persists to this day. Then you use present perfect, right? And you can use basically present perfect with let us say continuing actions, however, native speakers prefer present perfect continues, which we will discuss again in our next class. And basically we have two fellas that we see since too since much, and since and for. Mm -hmm. To remember that it's easy thing, since Point is beginning, for is period. That is essentially it. Since is beginning, for is period. That's it. So we can say, I have taught English for five years. Or I have taught English since 2014. It's the same, essentially. We are just mentioning that. And remember, it's not a date. It's different. If we are implying a date, then we are implying that a certain action happened in the past and it's over. We don't care about it. However, we are implying start of an action. So if, it, if something has a starting point, then it's still going on, right? So that is how we do this present perfect symbol. Any questions? No? So about that late last twist, how about be the next trainer. <laughs> well, why not? Why not? So, like, which which training, which trainer gave you pizzas? Which one? We did it. We did it. So, essentially, so, essentially, no, no, don't open it. So, this this essentially this exercise is the following: you are going.
going to make sentences from this word. And whichever team has the least number of words left is winner. But remember one thing. Ah, okay. Ideally, none of these words should be left out because, like, all of them are sentences. However, yes, so you, you, you must use all of them. So, so, please answer us how do actual satellites work if they get the delayed information? So, Alright, so essentially we have told you that if you remember, so if you remember this is the last point, believe me, it's the last point that we are off. So as you have heard that satellites send us the delayed information. So you can say, I can't wait for 10 minutes for my Uber. If I wait for 10 minutes, Uber will go to other part of the city. The case is Uber and Google and other navigating programs, they don't take our position from satellites. Because satellites send us information late, so there creates quite a delay. They basically use the dishes that telecommunication companies install in our on our buildings. Have you seen this like the antennas for other cell or black cell, which are gray with white dishes and so on. Yes. Actually, navigation companies and Uber and all of them, they use these particular dishes, these antennas, to define how to get our local, get our location essentially. So, with that particularly crucial information, we would like to thank you very much for participating, and we certainly wish to see you again sometime. So. Uh, they want us to send us. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming. Enjoy the lecture. Thank you. I'm yes. glad to hear it. And we... Thank you. Yeah. So we actually never had the chance to introduce ourselves. Yeah. So my name is... So sorry, please. Ladies yeah, first. Just, yeah, she is... No, no, you, you please introduce her. Mr. Witt. Our favorite teacher, yes, yes, yes. Which is Ion's SAT. All of these, all of these teachers are amazing. Yeah. And me, uh, I can share the book, just English teacher from this last year. Also, very nice. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much for coming. We are very grateful for your yes. participation. Thank you. You are also. Now, uh, I can ask you one question. All the lessons which we had for today, so they, they were two teachers during the lesson. Is it like usual practice or just you know, for these today? are integrated lessons. Yes. So uh -huh. GPS part of this lesson was um, the yeah. uh, content, uh, content uh -huh. that science and technology. Uh -huh. We are using clear methodology in our LSU. Mm -hmm. So the resources are also discovery. So just integrated lessons. So uh, we teach maybe two units of Oxford discoveries about astronomy, two units about math, two units about maybe history. Just this clean methodology, if you know this methodology, you uh, should know this, that content and language integrated lesson. Mm -hmm. We teach language through content, mm -hmm. yes, through subject. Mm -hmm. yes, Their subject was essentially Yes, GPS. science and technology. Mm -hmm. so GPS cool. part of the lesson was content, science, technology. Science technology, and we learned language, English language, through this astrology. Mm -hmm. ah, so that's why you are, yeah. but usually it's not like it's just usually. one less, one teacher. It, it, it depends, like, uh -huh. there are the moments when, like, let us say, when we prepare with two teachers, that there are times when we want to be fancy, and there are some classes that we like. There are classes that we still like, but not that much, but still we like them, mind you. So for those, we yes. prepare with yes. two t-shirts, and sometimes we prepare for one. So it depends, really. There is no regulation or something. It just, it, it's you up know, to English us. English is the subject that can integrate yes. with yes. all, yes. all yes. subjects, yes. content. Yes. 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 yes, yes, exactly. Something like this, yes. But to be all these two teachers during the lesson, you know, it's, it's impossible. So how, yeah. where can you get so no, many No, language uh, lessons uh, just for one teacher. Uh -huh. But we can, uh, for Do example, like invite that. subject yeah. teachers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, what's it? Uh -huh.